All right, House of Cards fans know him as Remy Danton, the slick lobbyist who wheels and deals his way in the nation's capital. But Marshala Ali plays Boggs, one of the good guys fighting against the capital in the Hunger Games, mocking Jay Part One. And in the scene we're about to see, Boggs is trying to protect Katniss, but she doesn't make it easy. Take a look. There's a problem. What kind of problem? Incoming bombers from the north. We need to find cover now. There's a bunker in there. Straight ahead and down the stairs. Katniss! Katniss! Mahershala Ali joins us now in studio. It is such a fantastic movie. And for people out there like me who didn't read the books and are just watching these movies, this is the first one where there aren't actually Hunger Games, and yet it's so intense. Tell us what moviegoers will get from this one. Uh, well, it's a, it's a little deeper and darker than the other films mm -hmm. because the Hunger Games aren't in it. So uh, you get introduced to a new character in District 13, essentially, because... Uh, it just plays such a large part in, in, in the feel of the film, but it, um, it's, 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 it's slightly deeper. It is deeper, it is darker, and speaking of deeper, your character Boggs has been living underground all this time, and you weren't in the first two movies, so what was it like joining the stellar cast, uh, Jennifer Lawrence? Yeah. Tell me what it was like on the scene. You know, my first week, I, I was just a little nervous because uh, here it is, you had these people who had been working together for a couple of years now, but uh, it was just an amazing experience. They couldn't have been more welcoming and grounded and uh, supportive as a group. And you're a star in your own right. You've been at this for more than a decade, but House of Cards has made yeah. you a household name. And I have to share something because I was at the White House Correspondents' yeah. Dinner last year, and it was so amazing to watch you mm. and your castmates because it was like worlds colliding. Here you were in D.C. and Remy the lobbyist. Everyone wanted a picture with you. Was it was it was it a strange reality for you as well? It was because you know here it is like in other cities. I, I definitely feel the work is appreciated and the show is appreciated. But when you go to D.C., it's another thing because you feel like I think they feel represented by House of Cards. Oh, they certainly do. And so we have a fun game for you. Uh, it's called Hunger Game of Cards. Okay. Are you ready? So, yes. so just answer honestly, okay. quickly. All right. all right. President Underwood or President Snow? Ooh, President Underwood. I like it. All right. Coin or Claire? Mm. Claire. <laughs> Katniss Everdeen or Zoe Barnes? Katniss. All right. Weapon of choice, bow and arrow or filibuster? <laughs> bow and arrow. <laughs> it gets over quicker, right? Yeah. Uh, the Hunger Games arena or the Senate floor? Ooh. <laughs> The Senate floor. <laughs> Very good answers. Yeah. We appreciate it, Maharshala Ali. Thank you so much Thank for joining for us. Me. And The Hunger Games, Mockingjay Part 1, opens nationwide this Friday.